What up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to the channel. Disc and Deals coverage. My name is Lucas. Today, we're at maybe one of the best new courses Kansas has to offer. Is it possibly a contender for the best course in Kansas? We'll find out right now as we take a first look at Knockwood at Santa Fe Lake in Augusta, Kansas. Hole one is 521 feet. It's a par four. So it really lets you kind of put one out there. This hole is called Ashes to Ashes. I think what's really neat about this course is each hole has a specific name. And just looking at some of these things, you have these crazy nice boat ties that you can put your bag on. So they, that's not going anywhere. So hole one is you have two gaps. You have this inside line or you have a big hyzer. The main thing you want to do is get around that tree. I'm going to go with a grace, go up and around because it's a tailwind. So this should be a pretty good shot. That held a little bit straighter than I wanted, but should be an easy up and down. All right, so I landed here. This tall grass is just pretty more than anything else. Kind of a something that you don't want to get into, but it's not OB, just that road's OB. All right, I'm at 270 with the tailwind. Just gonna throw a verdict up and hopefully have the distance here. Should be pretty good. Okay. Not too shabby here. Left to right wind. Just make sure we spin this. Ooh, just caught. All right. This is one you want to get. This isn't far. I didn't get the distance I wanted off the tee, but it was still a pretty easy approach. For this course, <clears throat> there's a lot of tough holes for me. So I want this one. Honestly, today, if I shoot under, I'm happy. I've played this one time and I shot plus two. So if I'm under at all, I'm gonna be in a good spot. But I'm happy I get to show you guys the course today. So this hole, hole two, there's a highway right here and actually it's more busy than I would imagine. So I hope you can hear me. This is a par three, 501 feet. This is called Bodark. So I can't reach that obviously at 501 feet. So we're just gonna get this as far as we can and hope we have some type of look for a three. like 175 just gonna try a little touch forehand a little bit far but 
Should be okay. Hopefully we can salvage the three. All right, and we're right here. I like the mulch around the basket here. And this is pretty neat too. You have this little next tee sign on every every basket. Kind of tells you where to go. All right, hole three is 428 feet. It's a par four. I think this is the coolest hole on the course. It's adequately deemed tunnel vision. So I'm gonna throw a road runner. It's more uphill than this seems to. So you just wanna get it somewhere in the middle. Yank that. Whew. We landed in the middle though, but that was not a good shot. <laughs> All right, we luckily have a little bit of space to work with. A lot of times on these rocks, you don't really have a run up, so I'm going to try to get something out there. Throw this Athena. Okay, we got up there. I don't know how short it's going to be. But we got past the tree and I'm Happy about that. All right, let's see where I got to. 41 feet. We'll have a little look see here. Probably shouldn't have a look after that drive. All right, spin this. Here we go. a good one to get. I will say I've seen a lot of people play this hole and I haven't seen any crazy bad kicks. Like mine was a bad shot but it kicked right out to the middle of the fairway. So I don't know. I love this hole though. It's my favorite hole on the course. Glad I got the birdie on it. Hole four is called the Rocky Ridge it's only 227 feet, severely downhill. This was actually just voted on as the best hole four in the Wichita area. Let's see if we can make this shot happen. Perfect. It's really, you just throw it downhill. Hope you get that um, counter skip, some type of skip up. Oh my God, first time putting on a bag. Anyways, let's, uh, let's go down this hill. Like I said, we got a little forward kick. So we're sitting pretty.
There we go. That's a neat hole. It's not the like a spectacular hole because of the distance, but it's just not something we have a lot of in the Wichita area. So to have an elevated tee throwing that far downhill, it's pretty exciting. And then when you get it, it makes you feel even cooler. All right, hole five has a couple different gaps. I don't know a lot of people taking the hyzer. I'm gonna, it's a forehand gap or a turnover gap. I'm taking the forehand. This one is called Knockwood. 258 feet, it's right through there. You just wanna make sure you get the turn on it with the backhand. Let's see what we got. pretty good but I put a little too much turn on it so we'll probably be somewhere outside the circle okay Ooh, 57 definitely outside into a headwind let's just get this one close Ooh, that was a good bid. For a half bid, didn't hate that one. I'm telling you right now though, the wind feels super nice. Hole six, it's in the short position, 307. It's a par three. There's really no way to get it. You can see the OB back behind. You have to stay short of that. You can't go past it. That road plays OB. So I'm gonna throw a forehand that's gonna try to get right. Just something soft, skippy. I'll just do a felon on a hyzer angle and just try to get it down there. Kind of curled up by that tree, but that's all you need on this hole. Yeah, what's neat is, is they have all these contingency plans for this course. Right here, if it rains, this can flood, and they actually have a whole different layout to skip some of these holes if it's rained. It's called the high water layout. So they've kind of thought of everything beforehand and so they don't have to be reactive they are proactive about it which is nice to say the least got caught behind this tree a little bit have to do a little forehand here i think avr3 try to channel my jordan schaefer here Got a pretty good skip. A little early out of the hand. All right. All right. 
this next hole I want revenge on because I got a four on it last time. It's a very tough line. We'll look at it now. Hole seven is playing at the short location, 400 feet, par three. This is called the gauntlet. This particular hole does really play, can play into the fairway of hole eight. So someone just broke their ankle recently, getting hit by a disc. So if you see anyone on hole eight, please do the smart disc golf thing have some patience and let them play until they're through the hole. It's okay to wait just a little bit longer just to make sure everyone's safe. All right, so I think the play here is the roller. I saw some people get there with the forehand. I don't have that. So let's see if we can lay one down here. Didn't quite stand up the way we wanted, but we got down there. So yeah, this nicked the tree a little bit, so it stopped some of the spin. But, I mean, considering I got a four on this last time, this is an easy pitch up, maybe even a little bid. That was a dirty skip, or a roll. All right. We're happy there, though. I think this hole is super, super cool. I think it can definitely be a score separator, because I've seen people get it. Shout out to you, Seth, for getting this one. But okay. Hole eight, because of this wall, it's called Wally. 527 feet, par four. This road plays OB and it comes up faster than you think. Last time I played this, I went OB road. So I'm gonna throw something a little bit more stable, this time a force and make sure it gets left faster. Right on that tree, that was a little low, but uh, we're gonna have a look, I think. We're just gonna maybe have to play over the road, which should be exciting for you, but really scary for me. All right, I think, I wonder if I should disc up. I'm gonna go hyzer here. This is a stupid shot. OB the entire way. So we're gonna go for it. Make sure we get our hyzer angle here. Yes! <laughs> yes. Perfect shot. Couldn't draw this one up any better. I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to play this hole, but this is also what I did last time when I went OB. I went out over this. It's scary, but it's a fun shot. All 
All right, hole nine is a par three, 355 feet. It's called Walnut Alley. This sidewalk plays OB. Direct headwind here. Something I did want to mention that I haven't, but these tee pads are super legit. They feel awesome. They're huge, plenty of space. My concern was they're stone, right? Some type of stone. And I'm like, what happens if it gets wet? Well, the first time I was out here, it rained a little bit. And these actually got grippier. It was even easier. Um, apparently, when they designed this course, they were at the store picking out these stones and putting them down and putting water on them and then stepping on the stones to see which one had the best grip. And so I think that's pretty awesome. Like I said, there's so much attention to detail out here. I just love it. headwind here. Take my Zeus, try to go right down Main Street. Ah. How did you see it? All right. Terrible kick. 180, all right. With the headwind, I'm just gonna throw my, my gators to make sure I'm there. Nestle, please. We should be okay. Pushed a tad bit deep, but not too bad. Ooh. Thought it bounced out for a second. I was gonna cry. And there you have it. That is the front nine. The great thing about this front nine is it's fairly generous as far as the shot shaping you have to do. Going into the back nine, things get a lot more stressful. More lines you have to hit, more trees. Make sure you tune on back to see the back nine of this fantastic course. As always, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like the video, comment on it. Tell me the, your favorite hole. And Here's the back nine over here. Make sure you click on that. Here's some other content I think you might enjoy. And if I'm wrong, well, sue me. But as always, take care. Bye-bye now.